Hello everyone! In this video, we will explain how to install Satori on your computer. You could have two types of licenses for Satori, standalone and floating. After downloading the software, please run the installer and continue the steps to install Satori. Afterward, run the software. A license activation dialog will pop up and show the hardware ID of your system. Please send it to consulting at nyrex.net so that we can create a license for you. If you requested a standalone license, once you receive the license name and key, please enter the license details in the dialog and press Activate. Satori should now be successfully activated, and after closing the dialog, you can now start Satori. If you requested a floating license, you will need to use the license server. To do so, restart Satori and click the floating license button in the bottom left of the, li of the license dialog, or go to your Satori installation folder directory in your home slash user folder and run the Access License Server application. A window will open as shown. Please enter the server IP address and dedicated port number provided to you when you purchase the software and click the Request Network License box. Close the application by pressing OK and restarting Satori. Satori should now start and be ready to use. To check that you are connected to the license server or check your current license details, you can go to the Help menu here in Satori and click License Information. You should see the usual information about your license and your hardware ID. We regularly release new versions of Satori. Major version updates, for example, from version 1 to 2, are planned every year. When a major update is ready to be released, you will receive a newsletter with all the information in advance. The software also shows a pop-up window informing you when a new version is available. Before updating to the new version, you can check the release notes mentioned in the pop-up window. If you want to check whether you have the latest version, you can, again, go to the Help menu tab and click on Check for Updates. If you purchased Satori more than three years ago, you will need to purchase a new license to update Satori. If you purchased a standalone license, you'll need to enter a new license key in Satori. Go to the Help menu and access the License Information tab. Click the Delete License button and send us a confirmation email. Now, restart Satori and enter the new license information you should have received. If you want to enter a license key in Satori when you have already used the license server or floating license before, just run the Access License Server application again in your Satori installation folder directory, which is in your user home slash user folder, and disable the use of our license server. To see what's new in the update, you can check the release notes by, again, clicking on Help and clicking Show Release Notes. You're now good to go. Enjoy Satori.